My name is Mary Bradshaw and I run for my son, First Lieutenant Brian Bradshaw, who was killed in action on the 25th of June, 2009. Brian was an amazing young man. Um, he wasn't perfect, <laughs> but he was really a great, a great kid. And when your child goes to war, you can't, I mean, it, it just is inconceivable that they won't come back. So I make a point of telling people Brian's story because I think it's important for people to understand that these were everyday guys. Senior Airman Michael Hinkle. Specialist Adam Rosma. Red first class. Before Aaron each Adam. Saturday event and each running event, we have the circle of remembrance. So the first time I was there, it took everything I had to be able to call out my son's name. And so I started going every Saturday. It became a lifeline. It was just so therapeutic. I, I tell people it got me moving forward both physically and emotionally because I was kind of stuck. Wear Blue is not all, you know, runners. It's people of all sizes and shapes and ages. And many people walk it. We have kids on scooters, kids in strollers, we have dogs. Uh, it's a very family friendly, just a, a wonderful group. In the last 18 months I've done three full marathons, um, all of them supported by Wear Blue and I wouldn't have been doing them without Wear Blue uh, just because it would never have entered my mind to start running again. When I hit the hills and I'm thinking, oh, you know, I can hear Brian in the back of my head saying, you can do this. The Wear Blue Mile is so inspirational um, at, the, at the runs. I mean, it just really, I, I look forward to that mile because it just is, is inspiring. It does serve to remind people that there are people out there sacrificing their lives and hopefully the war will be over soon and there will still be people sacrificing so that we can have the lives that we have.